Welcome back to the 6th Gear Garage. I recently purchased a Mission Motor radiator for an install video with my Mustang, and it showed up with a big dent on the lower hose neck. UPS must have dropped it or thrown it from a pretty good height because it was very well packaged inside the box surrounded by thick foam. Rather than returning it and waiting for another, I figured I'd try to repair it myself. And it worked. Here's how I did it using fire and sockets. All right, got my assistant here and she's gonna play with fire. You're seven now, that's, that's old enough for a blow torch, right? Mm -hmm. All right, let's turn this on for you. Okay, now I want you to hold this just right about there. All right, this is aluminum. So when it gets hot, it makes it easier to bend. If you bend it when it's too cold, it can, uh, it's more likely to crack. And that's what we don't want to have happen. And then I'm gonna go over here with, we've got a range of sockets here, small to large. Start with the small one and see if I can bend this back. Okay, see what I'm doing there? I'm bending it back out. Now, the middle bent very easily. In fact, I might be able to go on to the next size now. Yeah. See right here and right here where it really got bent out of shape, right about there. And then do the same thing on the other bend and just keep going back and forth, okay? Yep, there you go. And I'm gonna try and slowly bend it back into shape. I don't know if we'll be able to get this thing back to a perfect round hole or not, but it's worth a shot. It's working, just slowly. All right, we're not right there yet. I bet that's pretty hot, so I'm not gonna touch it with my hands. <laughs> there we go. Next size up. All right, we're looking pretty good. Keep doing what you're doing, you got it. Daddy, when are you gonna be ready for the big black one? That's gonna be last. All right. It's getting more round. We're getting there. All right, we're getting really close. Ready for the big one yet? I think we're gonna try it. Okay, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. Oop. I think we've got it plenty hot enough to do what we want it to do. All right, here's a 30 millimeter. Should fit just right. Oh yeah, that's a tight fit. And this will hopefully work it into a perfect circle. And the only reason I'm doing this instead of sending it back is uh, because these have a lifetime warranty. So down the road, if it ends up cracking right there from this repair, then I'll just send it back then. I think that's pretty round. Um, yeah, you know, we'll shut it off. That's hot enough. Thanks for your help. Now, this tip is hot, so... I'm gonna set it right there, out of the way. And this is super hot, so don't even think about touching that. I'm gonna shape this a little bit more right there. So, I mean, it's pretty close. You know, I'm putting a, a rubber hose on this, so it'll kind of form to whatever shape it is, as long as it's close to round. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'd say we fixed it. High five. So let's let this cool off for a while, nice and slow. I'm not going to dunk it in water, and then we'll uh, put it in. Thanks for watching. Do me a big favor and hit that like if you found it helpful. I'll put a link to the full install video in the description. Consider subscribing for more how-to videos and project vehicle updates here at the Sixth Gear Garage.